Hello everyone, uh, so I hope everyone is keeping safe and uh, <laughs> keeping sane as well. How long has it been? Like six weeks already? Like six weeks? Yeah, six weeks! I mean, you know, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> you know, I have friends here that I can um, invite over, you know, for a meal. So this is what I did. So it's very exciting because today, uh, for the first time since early February, I am cooking for two of my very oldest friend. Um, uh, I'm going to make a vegan staple for the first time in my life. I've eaten it a lot, but I've never actually made it. Um, I'm gonna make cauliflower rice. Um, I was going to make some stuffed peppers and stuffed tomatoes. Oh, that's... <laughs> peppers and tomatoes. I have one tomato left, so it's gonna be pretty much like stuffed peppers. I've got this spice mix that I'm kind of making, this um, vadouvant ish, it's very different ish kind of spice mix uh, that has aniseed, uh, turmeric, fenugreek, is that how you say? yeah, fenugreek, um, that has onions and garlic and mustard seeds and uh, I think that's it, uh, and curry leaves, and curry leaves, it's got curry leaves um, and, I mean, to be honest with you, the whole aniseed business is scaring me a little bit, but I'm just, I'm just trying. So I could be making my cauliflower rice with, um, like a food processor, but uh, I don't have one right now, so I'm going to make it with this. Um, so for that, you just need to, you know, kind of cut your, cut your cauliflower. I'm probably not going to use my, the whole of my cauliflowers. I'm leaving, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to keep the leaves and half of my cauliflower um, for all the purposes, like for a soup or, you know, something like that. I don't need, I really don't need that much. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to cut it kind of roughly like this, you know, and I'm going to grate it, you know, just like this, uh, until I have a rice and... Uh, and that will be my cauliflower rice. You might be wondering why I'm wearing a head thing. Because um, I don't want, you know, I have guests today. Uh, so I don't want them to get bits of my hair in their stuffed pepper. I mean, not that I like eating my own hair uh, either when I cook for myself. But, you know, when you have guests, like, definitely make sure that that doesn't happen. Because it's, it's not very... Um, well, it's quite undashing, really, isn't it? Uh, I was going to say something else. Uh, yeah, so I'm not wearing a tablecloth. No, I'm not. I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing a tablecloth. Week six. It's week six of confinement, and English is my second language. Um, yeah. So I'm not wearing an apron. Um, that's because I'm just reckless. Because. Uh, I usually, I had one and and I can't find it and I think, I think it's dead. I think it's dead. Look at that. Not bad, eh? It's very wet. So, shit, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Um, ooh. Yeah, I hadn't thought this through completely. Um, so I've got the cauliflower rice right there that I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of like straining, drying or, you know, whatever I'm doing with it. Then I've got my coral lentils. Uh, so they've been, um, they've been soaked in water for a while. They haven't been cooked yet, but they're, you know, they've gone kind of soft. That's my vadouvant. I mean, it's not a vadouvant, but it's... It's the spice mix I have. I've sautéed everything, uh, so that's that. That's the cauliflower slaughter. I've emptied my tomato and I've emptied, um, you know, my uh, peppers. Like I've taken out the seeds and washed them and stuff. It would be good to actually like really turn the heat on. Um, so this is also when we're going to put everything uh, together uh, to have like the, you know, to have the stuffing. This is going to be really awkward um, to pour. 
you know, just actually have it, like, strain it, just have a thin mesh sieve that's, like, big enough. Don't, don't follow this part of the, of the recipe, it's, it's really awkward. I mean, I could just, I guess I could just... Right, so that was a bit of a disaster, but it's all in. Uh, if you don't believe me, it's all in. There you go. I'm also uh, going to sauté my, len len my lentils, <laughs> my lentils, my lentils with it. You know, so this is kind of what's happening here. This actually smells um, good. Well, it smells like I want cheese on it, but... Um, <laughs> It's vegan, so it's not gonna happen. I've got my oven preheated at 200 degrees, and it's gonna be time to stuff my peppers and tomatoes with this. I'm stuffing my peppers first, then I'm putting the lids on it, like this. Keeping this here. There are the babies, right there, the little peppers. And now it's just simply time to serve them. All right, so we're almost ready. Uh, everyone's been served, everyone's happy. Um, and we only need to have a little bit of wine, nice Italian red, to go with our vegan stuffed pepper with curried cauliflower and lentils. So yeah, cheers! Cheers, Belby! Cheers, Gabe! What, you're not gonna eat? Non, mais là, tu fais chier, hein, Balou! Non, mais je l'ai fait pour toi, hein! C'est vegan et tout, quoi! Don't know if my friends uh, are really enjoying my meal right now. Non, mais Balou, tu vas pas manger! Ça va pas, là! Ça va pas! He doesn't speak a lot of English. I mean, he's been here for a while, but he doesn't speak a lot of English. I mean, Balou! Allez, tu manges Tu manges I don't think he's hungry. It's weird. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, the cauliflower rice and the coral lentils together worked really well. Uh, a curry powder would work well with it, just not the one I made today. <laughs> I will not share that recipe with anyone because, frankly, it was a bit bitter. Um, but yeah, if you have, uh, if you find ready-made uh, Vaudouvant powder, some I think some shops do, uh, you know, do make them. Uh, I'm sure it'd be better. Uh, if you have Madras, you know, Madras curry powder, your normal curry powder mix, like it would be great with it. Cher Moulin also is very good. Have a good weekend and. Uh, you know, hopefully these days uh, are coming to an end, um, or, yeah, yeah. If you want to see more recipes of confined cooking, or hopefully uh, <laughs> more sane um, recipes when we're not confined um, anymore. Uh, maybe I'll do this, um, I'll keep doing this, you know, freedom, freedom cooking. It would be called freedom cooking. Um, yeah, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to... Sub <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Uh, just probably, like, press whatever you need to... Uh, yeah, press whatever you need to press. <laughs> And um, and if you have any questions, uh, you can find all my social media and my email. I think in um, on my YouTube channel main page. Um, hopefully, I will regain sanity, which I think I had before. Mm -hmm.